All right, this is Real Poets right here. I'm making a video on uh, understanding self and uh, what the world, what is the problem with the world today. And uh, I'm not going to try to hold, uh, <clears throat> make a long video, but I'm going to give you some knowledge of self. I'm going to give you two sides to the story because when there's one story, there's always another story behind one story. In other words, self, there's two selves in one body, but there's, but there's always <clears throat> one that has rhythm and there's always one that has reason. One is uh, positive and one is negative. Okay, and these two sometimes cause friction with one another. They they uh they tangle with one another sometimes. One gets the best of the other. It depends on what the situation is. And then the world we live in now, huh, the one on our, uh that's controlling uh you know the left side <laughs> of the body. Is really uh, affecting the whole world right now. What what's affecting the what's affecting the uh, the one that's co controlling the left side of your body right now? <laughs> the one that's controlling the left side of the body. <laughs> that one loves television. Television. Not only television, but media, social media. And all the visuals. Not only visuals, but just the arts. Images. All those things right there, you know. I mean, I guess I'm in that category too, but I'm not. But you can't let uh, this persona dictate dictate your your other persona, which is uh, I call Lenny Lefty. Lenny Lefty, that's in my book. Go pick it up. My Journal of the Book of Me with Insights. And I'm on my way of trying to get the second one published. Okay, Lenny Lefty is uh, logical. Reason, reasonable. Lenny Lefty is the kickstand. <laughs> Excuse me. Lenny Lefty is the kickstand. Okay. Now, I'm going to give you some facts. <clears throat> okay, all through history, <coughs> imagery has dominated the world. Imagery has dominated and has uh, liquidized or liquidized. When I say liquidized, I mean turn, for instance, I'm going to use this analogy. I'm going to use a fruit. I'm going to use a... Uh, a grapefruit. What you do with a grapefruit? If you want to turn, if you want to drink it, you peel it off, you open it up, you put it in a blender, and you you blend it, and you turn it to uh, grapefruit juice. So, what's a grapefruit? I say, for example, is Lenny Lefty, and what's the uh, grapefruit juice? Is a uh, uh Right or Raya Righty. <laughs> we get my book, you get the knowledge. It's uh on Amazon.com. My journal, the book of me with insights by Jason H. King. That's me. Alright. That's my first book I published in April twelfth of two thousand twelve. Check it out. But uh like I was saying, Orange is Lenny Lefty. Raya Righty is Excuse me, is uh, 
Rye Rye is liquid. The grapefruit juice. So what does juice do? Juice is, uh, it flows. Just like, uh, it flows. It, and it, you pour it in a glass, what it does? It's easy, right? What you do if you got a full grapefruit? Which, what can you do with that? You can't pour it. What it's going to do if you try to uh, turn it, uh, put it on, try to put it in the glass, what it's going to do? It's going to fall, fall, knock the glass over, right? Because it's heavy, right? It's solid. It's solid material, right? So you see solids compared to to uh, liquid. Li liquid, solids to liquid, you know? And uh, that's where our uh, two hemispheres are. The right is liquidized, is rhythm. It moves. Let me show you an example. Okay, here it is. Okay, here's Lenny Lefty. And here's Ryan Righty. You see the difference? <clears throat> okay, your right brain, okay, is, uh, it's rhythm. Okay, when it's emotional, guess what it does? It acts out. And what does Lenny does? He's straight. And if you can't distinguish no uh right uh righty from Lenny Lefty, you know what's gonna happen? These two are gonna come in conflict with one another. Now, that look familiar, don't it? It look like one of them signs on the 911 uh, paramedics, doesn't it? Well, I get, uh, that's another topic. Uh, it's, I'm not getting into that, but uh, what I'm trying to say is once these two are uh, mingled, you're going to have problems. Okay? You're going to have major problems. You're going to have uh, anxiety attacks. You gonna you gonna go into a depression. You are gonna go into a, a shell of yourself, and you're not gonna know what's happening, what's going on. And you know what a lot of people do when they're in conflict with with this. They go to drugs. They go to uh, smoking cigarettes. Anytime those emotions come up, these emotions right here come up. They go to whatever is uh, <clears throat> whatever's uh, close to them the most. Whatever can uh, calm the anxieties within. And what happens when anxiety is triggered by Raya Raya? Which, because what happens is Raya Raya is, uh, Raya Raya is, uh, breaking down the orange. It's slowly peeling away and on, bro open it up and, and slowly putting Lenny Lefty or logistics into a blender. <laughs> and once, uh, <laughs> reason goes into the blender, guess what? It's over. I don't know how long it's going to last, but guess what? It's over for the moment. Anything can go down when uh, when uh, Rye Roddy liquidizes Lenny Lefty. Because once Len Rye Roddy takes over Lenny Lefty, or your right spirit takes over your left spirit, or, you know... Or, Overwhelm it with emotion. You know, speech is out. Speech is, is uttered. Is uttery. You're going to find yourself in a spot where you don't need to be. What, what do I mean by the spot? You're going to, your persona. Remember I said your persona? Your persona. Let me show you an example. Okay. 
your persona is going to be uh, is going to send mixed signals. Okay, I'm going to show you right here. What's going to happen to your persona is, <clears throat> say, if you was uh, uh, calm, your facial your facial expressions were calm, right? Okay, here I'm going to show you something. Okay, this is your right brain here. I'm going to it. Right here. See that arrow? Goes right here. There we go. Then you got your left brain. This these are not my work. This is my drawings and all my work. But the these are uh lectures. Uh low on uh research notes. But these are facts, okay? Left brain hemisphere goes there it is right here. Okay. Now you know the left brain of uh, uh, controls your left brain controls your right side of your body, so it's gonna control your facial expressions on the right side of your face. Okay? And your eye and your uh and your uh your uh, forehead, your eyebrow right here. So whatever you do on that right side, your facials <clears throat> If you don't got it together, it's gonna show. Okay. Doing on uh, your left, your left, your right brain. Oh yeah, right here, your right brain. If you not, uh, if it show any dist, uh, if you're not, if you're not in sync with self, it's gonna show. It's gonna show in this part of the lip. This all this right here, your facial, your eyebrows, where how you can move, facial lining, forehead, whether you're emotional or anxiety is gonna show up all in your face. Okay. <clears throat> and uh the ones who see you the most and looks in your face, they know they know right off the bat something ain't right because uh <clears throat> because uh <clears throat> because you're are out of place somewhere but it's good to know whether you know they don't know but you have to know that you're uh there's a sense of a, con a control in other words you got control anger and then you got out of place anger out of place anger is dark energy you know out of place anger is, is doesn't mean you. That means you don't. You you you're a shell of yourself and you. You're destruction. Destruction, ready to happen. Now control the anger, is anger, where you know what's going on. It ain't no doubt about it. Okay. Now. <clears throat> The main thing is when people don't understand what's going on with this here, with this, the placements, if you don't know what's going on with the left and, a, and your right and the facials that, oh man, this, uh, what's going to happen is you're going to send mixed signals and the greatest Domino effect to one person is sending mixed signals where <clears throat> you're sending out uh, negative and and you're and uh, okay what comes with those what are those mixed I'm gonna show you those emotions in each spare okay we're gonna start with the uh, the left brain here first before I continue. Okay, here we go. What are the emotions? Cheerful, joy, happiness. Okay. And then you get, not only that, but you have, the left brain is more of the positive. We see that, right? Cheerful, joy, happiness, right? These are not my words. These are facts. These are words these are these are my research notes that I got and I and they're not mine they're 
real facts and study on our, of our, our own cerebral, okay? This is what control. These are the two power stations that are the engines. These are the things that make us who we are, okay? As far as in the material world, the nah. In, the, in this material world, you got to know how the main sources function. So your spirit, or we call energy, can be able to f be free-flowing. Your spirit cannot be free-flowing if you do not know how the material works. Got it? That's facts. Now... Okay, what are these uh, personas, per personalities that come and what can cause make signals? First of all, these are the person, these are the persona. This is the persona that comes with the left brain: cheerful, joy, happiness. Like I said before, sociable. Sociable means that you're willing to talk to people. Okay. Okay, speech, language. Ebulent, that means uh, like exciting, excited. Okay, and the masculinity, we see those are man characteristics, male char man, man characteristics, masculine. Okay, self-confident, that's a, that's a sign of, you know, self, you're confident in yourself. Okay, and the next one is I respond more positively there we go respond more positively to what events around events around me and take delight in other people and is less upset by unpleasant events so you're less upset so that shows you there that the traits are good. This left brain trait is a good trait. But we don't stop there. Let's go to the right brain. Okay. We see that, you know, it's on the, this side. Okay. The right brain controls this side of the face. Not only the face, but all these parts all the way down to, to your toes. Okay. Whatever you do with your hands and legs... On this side, <coughs> can affect your emotions. So you have to be able to stick and move like a basketball player. You got to know how to, you got to practice which side, whether you're right-handed or left-handed. That helps too. That helps you to, you got to uh, work on work on your game. <laughs> Like like in basketball, you gotta work on your game. You gotta work on it until you perfect it. And that's what we're here to do. We're here to perfect our movements in this in this material land. Once we perfect our material selves, we never can uh can uh we'll make mistakes as long as we live. What I'm saying. Because once we get freedom, you know, some of us, we get freedom, we can lose freedom. Meaning lose, meaning we can make wrong choices, even though we have the knowledge of self, you know. But we that's why we have to know our place. place. And when we know our place, that means we know how to tap into humility as well, which is a trait from... The right brain. Okay. Okay. We got to know how to shut off speech in our left brain in moments of time when we don't need to speak. Okay. All right. Here's the right brain characteristics. Imaginative. Okay. Look. Okay. Look. Imaginative. See. Projection. What is projection? I'm going to go on and continue with the characters, but I'm going to give you, I got this here for a reason. What is imaginative? Imaginative means you, it's imagery, it's a visual, 
a trait from the right brain, okay? Okay? Projection means uh, you're projecting something external from within your right cerebral uh, on out side of yourself external it's an external uh thing here going on but i get into it in a minute next up is sensual what is sensual sensual is uh feelings of uh comfort material love uh companionship physical a physical need with another human being that's basically what it is Feeling sensual, you want feeling, uh, you know, lovey dovey, okay. A appetites. What is appetites? Appetites is feeding your your material body. It could mean that as well, or it could mean again the same thing as sensual. It's a hunger, okay. Appetites. Appetites, some people have habits of uh, of uh, eating, drinking, all the things of material. We can overdo it and become an appetite. That's an appetite. You're hungry for something, you know? And these are the greatest things that are hindering us today. We have our appetites are so strong <clears throat> Is that it's overwhelming us, and the only way we can respond is emotionally to people now, because we seeing, we projecting uh, <clears throat> our negative emotions: anger, doubt, fear, anxiety, sadness, hate, onto someone or anything. So what happened is we project, okay? We project. So all these emo negative emotions, it could come from an imagery. What is image? Image? Uh, imaginative. It can come from past hurt. Imaginations trigger is followed by emotions, okay? Whatever you think, your emotions follow, okay? So this is. Another reason I got this here. So here's your right brain controlling this side of your face. So whatever your right brain is uh, conjuring up, <clears throat> that emotion is conjured up as well. So, so you can project your hate. If you're, because your hate can block you of looking of looking at on the inside of yourself and and realizing I hate myself, you know. You get it? You hate self. You hate that part of you so much that you don't want to see it. So you project. You look outside of yourself. Projection. You know what a projection uh is? You ever seen uh uh a, pro a projection screen when they pull it down in school and they and they turn on the uh the film the film is inside the uh project projector projector and then they turn it on and then whatever is inside that projector it projects outside onto the wall of the screen it goes onto the screen okay the real movie, the real movie is inside the projector. The film is inside the projector, not on the screen, because you can pull the screen up and it'll still be on that what? Chalkboard. But if you turn that film off, that chalkboard is still there. And then what and it's blank. So whatever's in that, whatever's in that uh <clears throat> And that uh, f right frontal lobe, right there, it's still there. You got to face it, deal with it, and move on in life. But first, for I can tell you to move on in life, I'm trying. I'm gonna help you get through some things here. Okay.
Because I'm not going to let you move on without you knowing how to move on. You hear me? I don't want to hear no excuses because I'm giving you the raw, naked truth. Okay? Oh, okay. Uh, where was I? <coughs> uh, boy, I lost track of the thought right now. Excuse me. Okay, uh, I'll go on now with the characteristics. Okay, where was I? At the negative, sensual, anger, depression, fear. Say, so okay, there's insight. Not only do the right hemisphere has a negative trait, but it also has good traits as well. So it's not all bad and gloom, doom and gloom, okay? These uh, emotions, uh, not only, it can help us, but we have to know how to, we have to know its place. Once we know that, there's a motto I go by, UDC, understand it, distinguish it, and control. Because once you understand, understand it, then you distinguish it. Distinguish means to know the difference. Then you control, then you'll be able to control these crazy emotions in times of uh, chaos in the external world we living in, okay? In the environment we living in. You will know how to move, okay? What is insight? Insight, okay? What is insight? Insight is like a breakthrough into a, into some knowledge that you can't st stumbled upon. It could be uh, anything. You can uh, <clears throat> read a word in a dictionary, and then and you say, "Oh, that word! It sounds some similar to such and such," and and uh, a light bulb goes off in your head. You know, insight is knowing is being inspired by. By more uh, into a word. It's like, uh, let me see. Give me a minute. I'll give you a better definition. Insight. Yeah, I'm using the old Webster dictionary. Insight. L M N. Okay, let me see. Inspiration. Insight, here we go. Insight, here what the meaning is. Okay. Okay, let me put a flashlight on for a second here. Let me hit it. Turn on my flashlight right now. Okay. 
Here's what insight me. Sorry about that. Insight is here. The ability to see and understand clearly the inner nature of things. Intuition. I got a I got a no, the circle too. Right there, you see it inside. The ability to see, the ability, the ability to see and understand clearly the inner nature of things. Intuition, a clear understanding of the inner nature of some specific thing. Inspiration, let me look at inspiration, a breathing in, inhaling, and inspiring or being inspired mentally. Or emotionally. Being inspired mentally or emotionally. Well, <laughs> see, this is the thing here. What we have to understand, too. Is that. <clears throat> is that. Uh, mentally being inspired Mentally and emotionally are all the same. <laughs> Mentally is where your emotions are seated. Mentally is the top of where all things are seated. Okay? That's another thing we have to understand. <clears throat> your emotions are mental. You see, there are two types of emotions. We just talked about them. Okay, there's cheerful, there's positive, and there's a negative. Okay, then there's uh, cheerful, joy, and happiness. Okay, then you got fear, doubt, anger, hate. Okay, then you have other traits that comes with those uh, <clears throat> with those emotions. You know. Because all your emotions benefit you and me. It just, we have to understand, distinguish, and control them. And once we do that, those emotions can help us. Okay? Uh... And they said at one point, it was right on. It said inner nature. You see, your right hemisphere focuses on your inner selves. And your left is uh, is inspired, is, uh, <clears throat> uh, sees more of your, is more of an outer uh, self than inner. You know, it deals with the, like, the speech, the, the outside speech. Why is uh your your right? I call right righty. It was more of your inner. Okay. What when I say inner, what do I'm talking about? I'm talking about like uh let's see. The the gifts Within, you know, like uh, there's great writers, great artists in uh, the world we live in who uh, who never could, who never seen a person or anything, paper or pen in their lifetime, but can put you put uh, they, a paper and pen in front of them or some some drawings, uh, some some color pens. They can draw and make a portrait that, as if it was uh, take as, as as if it was a blown up photo. That's how good some people are. That's how visual uh, the blind man can see, because he sees in his 
uh, right cerebral cortex, his frontal, he sees but doesn't seize, okay? He's he's expressing insight. He's expressing imagine imagery, imaginative, okay? And if he's feeling a certain way, like fear, he'll draw up a, a portrait of that. Makes with a uh, winger or whatever. Okay. Now here's some other traits of uh, the right hemisphere: feminine. That's the opposite of masculine. Okay. So we talked about the right hemisphere. Okay, this control your left side of your body. That also is your feminine characteristics on your left side of your body. Remember what I said earlier? I don't know if I told showed you. But uh, remember I said, uh, okay, one side is like a snake. Okay, that's your rhythm. So when you're emotional, <clears throat> you might start, your body language will change into a rhythmic state. Or, hell, you might even sing a, a verse or something. You might go out there and sing. You might uh, express poetry. Um anything uh rap i don't know uh okay your left brain is is the opposite of your emotional rhythmic side okay it's cold okay it's stiff it 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 likes to figure it, figure it out it's the cold case files Cold case, the lawyer, the doctor, okay? <sighs> All right. Let's go continue. All right. We'll go further down. I said feminine, right? Okay. We see what controls the, what are the feminine what are the, uh, the right brain? Okay, we see you up here. Okay, left side. Okay, remember, whatever you do on your, whatever, if you're emotional, it'll show up on your, if you're in place, if you're not in place, you're going to have all types of facial expressions going on here. You don't know. You're like a two valves going up and down, up and down, up and down. Don't know what's going on. Okay, you're trying to figure this out. Some pe people will go and get a smoke. Drugs, whatever, just to calm this their expressions down to get back into reality. Some will run away into a near imaginative state, okay, and stay there with their emotions, okay. Because guess what? This emotion right here got them in check. The emotion of fear. Fear of self, fear of facing the unknown. The unknown is not that is not all that bad. The unknown, the unknown is you. <laughs> if you want to know the truth, the unknown is you. And if you don't want to know the unknown, the unknown will find you. And if it find you, you'll be trapped every time. And you'll be going to this every time. And guess what followed what follows this? Uh ang anger, fear, hate, all those emotions, sadness. You'll be in an unpleasant event of your own, basically, what I'm saying. Okay? Now let's continue to go on to what I, what this uh where we at feminine, okay. If you're now in place, if you are in place, you will express your feminine care. You will express it on your left side, whether in your hand gesture, right through your wrist, your arm, uh, body language, memory. 
orange to orange juice. You must flow as if you're uh, water. Okay. Oh, I'm gonna show you something right quick. Hold on, I'll get to you in a minute. I'm gonna show you something. Okay, here we go. Uh, let me see. Mm, that's not it. That's not it. That's not it. Hold on, hold on. Okay. 